Hello and welcome friends to the SMS animation channel. Today we are going to create a low poly helmet in Blender. So first of all we are going to select the camera and light and just delete it. Now we are on our cube. Come into the front orthography view. Set our cube onto the grid. Now we are into the edit mode and let's apply the subdivide and let's make it up to 5 and smoothness to 1. So it's converted into the sphere. The our cube is converted into the sphere after applying the subdivision surface. <coughs> now just come into the front view and on the X-ray mode, select the faces like this one and then delete appraise X and delete the faces. So we have just divide the sphere into the halfway. Now let's select the bottom loop of the sphere with by pressing alt and extrude it towards the z-axis okay now it's done now let's apply a loop cut on the extrude area just come out from the x-ray mode and apply the loop cut yes okay now let's adjust the vertex to get our shape into the below part of the helmet so just come into the right side view, orthographic view. Okay, let's select the points. Yes, and then drag it up by pressing G and Z axis. Now let's adjust other points as per requirement. So I'm just going to select these three faces, these three vertexes. Okay, and then take it up all. Now let's Z and Z. Select again vertex and G and Z axis towards upper side. Let's adjust it a little bit as per our requirement. This vertex, okay. Now we have to delete some faces. But before that, we are just going to adjust some more vertex. Okay. <laughs> Not that. Yes. Okay. Now select the faces by pressing Ctrl and Shift. Select first face over here. Into the right front side. And then just the right back side. <coughs> or you can say the left orthographic view. Press Ctrl and Shift so it's continually selected everything. Then delete those faces. So almost we are near to get our base shape of the helmet. Now select these four faces over here. Yes, and delete them. Okay, good. Guys, you can see the shortcuts below over here into the center, which I'm applying. Now let's select, give some more shape to the helmet on the back side so I'm just going to select the vertexes over there and let's press G and Z and drag it on above side then select vertexes on the both the side not like that <laughs> let's do let's undo first and select vertex on the both the sides and drag above G and Z. Okay, now it's good. So almost our base shape is ready, guys. Let's apply some changes over the front side of the helmet. So move the vertex, select both the side vertex and press G and Z. Take upside, then select the edge vertex. Yes, and take it above a little bit. And then now single vertex select from the both the side of the corner and drag it down a little bit yes okay so now our final shape is ready guys we have to modify it so we have to provide some thickness to this helmet now so we have just applied the shade smooth and going to apply the uh, solid modifier solidify modifier into the modifier panel 
now first of all we are going to into the normalize tab and make the normals into the auto smooth okay so now you can see that it's look good now we are just going to give the thickness value add the thickness value into the solidify solidify uh, modifier so you can see that now the thickness is over there to our helmet yes it's look good now let's apply the mirror modifier remember that we can't apply the modifier into the edit mode we have to just jump into the solidify as a object mode and then you can apply now let's edit some more details into our helmet select the faces outer side faces of the lower part and then control and shift and select all the faces and then press i to insert yes then press shift d to duplicate that area okay then press p to separate that from the main object of our helmet yes then select it again jump into the edit mode select all and then extrude along the normals yes it's good and make it scale down we are going to just make it scale into the x-axis plus first of all let's adjust it was too much thicker so let's make it a little bit less th thicker and then press x scale down into the z-axis yes it's good <coughs> now let's just give the one more detail onto the helmet Yes, select the control and shift and select the faces not there yes okay it's good selection now let's select the four more faces below that now place uh, extrude along the normals yes it's good and scale it down towards the x-axis now you can see that we are almost getting our shape really in beautiful way and amazing way. So this is a low poly modeling which we are creating today. Low poly helmet modeling. Which we have seen in lots of gaming and uh, old kind of modeling or, or you can see the old animated movies where soldiers wear such kind of helmet. Now let's give one more detail. Yes and then select the faces then again insert and extrude them along the normals yes good <clears throat> so you can see here we are getting almost done still we have to add some more details guys to be continue till the end so you can get the idea how you can improve your modeling skill Okay, now we have just going to provide the loop cuts. So when we are going to apply a subdivision surface on that, so EG should remain sharp. Now here you can see that when I apply the loop and then I press the control B, so bevel edges. Okay, but I remove that and undo that. Now what we have to just apply the edges individually, loop cut individually, then press E and F, which can get the same shape over here, which has the main loop over, above that. So now it's look good. Now we are going to give the same loop cuts over here where it is required to support the edges. So let's give the loop cut over there. So avoid the roundness of the edges of that individual part we have created. Same thing we have to apply over here. Apply loop cut, then control B, bevel, and just give the loop print proper way. Yes, it's good. Done. One more loop cut onto the center. Yes, that is okay. Now let's just apply the subdivision surface modifier and just convert to the simple option. Okay, it's good. So our low poly helmet model is almost ready, guys. You can see that it's look really amazing. Let's apply on that part also. 
sub division uh, modifier okay now it's good and it's done now let's apply some kind of okay well we can add some more detail let's check it first it's look good yes yes it's good you can see that our low poly helmet model in blender now select these faces and add some more detail select faces we have just shift d duplicate and p selection and separated it now we have selected it extrude along the normals then select the above faces and then extrude scale it down into the x-axis again extrude the faces and scale it down into the x-axis okay it's good let's apply the loop cut where it is required now yeah okay good now let's apply the loop cut from the for bottom then center now bottom and then both side edges right and left side edges yes and then on this side okay and let's apply the above portion after this okay now let's apply over here okay so we have applied the support loop on that section also okay guys so we almost done to create our low poly helmet modeling in blender now let's apply some shader on that yeah it's amazing it's done okay good so we have just jumped in a shader editor mode and let's apply the material on that one let's choose such kind of a uh, copper kind of shade metallic option should be one and roughness i almost choose like something okay that is 0.4 something like that and change the little bit shade and down the luminous okay good it's looking good now you can see that our helmet is almost ready and it's looking really really amazing the low poly modeling of the helmet in blender guys now let's convert it into the some high poly modeling just for your reference guys the tutorial was all almost about the low poly modeling of the helmet in blender but let's for you we are going to convert into the high poly modeling so you can understand how it looks when we convert into the high poly modeling so now it's look amazing when it's into the simple option see the shapes and square boxes are polygons are looking over there it's looking really beautiful and amazing now what we are going to do we are just going to convert into the first option of the subdivision surface that is the climatic uh, 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 i don't exactly get the pronunciation of that but you can see the option i have selected now you can see that our helmet is almost ready with the full or you can say the high poly modeling and it's looking really amazing i wish you learned something from this tutorial so click on to the like button subscribe the channel share with your friends and colleagues and also comment how you like this tutorial thank you very much stay safe enjoy your day goodbye guys